Wehrmacht. Wehrmacht. <laughs> Motherfucker, it's Wehrmacht. Okay, I said it right. Okay? Wehrmacht. Hey guys, I just wanted to say that this is completely raw gameplay. I opened up this game the very first time when I started playing it was in this video. It's an early access game and I've never played it before. So this is a little bit rough. This video is going to definitely be something that you're not usually going to see from me because I usually like to play a game first before I make a video. But this is starting from the bottom, headed to the top. I just want to provide that qualification before we get started because you're going to see some pretty rough gameplay in this video. That being said, this is Day of Infamy and I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the Day of Infamy. This is a cooperative, multiplayer, single player experience. World War I combat. Right now, you can pick it up on Steam. 20 bucks. It's an early access. Not quite out yet. Right there on the Steam. Right there on the early access. And this is my first look at it, you guys. So let's uh, let's go ahead and start out with multiplayer, because why not? Let's see if we can find a server with people in it. Uh, good ping, 16. U.S. Army in the Wehrmacht. Da, 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 da. Tense moment as it loads. I'll probably edit out the loading screen. Uh, we are going to join the... Mark looks like okay and we can choose whether we want we have a bunch of classes officer rifleman assault support flamethrower communications engineer machine gunner and sniper um I'm just gonna go with a rifleman and uh, go straight through I'll explore more in terms of what's going on with the classes later on there's a lot of German going on there. Hovering UI elements look very familiar to anybody that's played a Battlefield game. Uh, I cannot get over this terrain, okay? Please keep in mind this is an early access game, ladies and gents, so it's not in a completed state. I saw a guy there. Good job. Bullets! Bullets hurt! Bullets hurt! Prone is Z, so pretty good standard controls. I do see there's a guy over there. Do something that probably is going to get me killed and run forward. Oh, yep, yep, that's uh, pretty sure way to die. Oh, the other team will redeploy if his squad mate regroups. So I can't immediately respawn, it looks like. Uh, must be something required in mechanic to respawn. Looks like the redeploys are in waves. So meanwhile, we'll have a look at this guy who is defending the storage unit, maybe? Oh, yeah. Alright, and there we go, we've redeployed. Get on the point. Let me get a radio with me down in the basement. Let's go. Alright, so there's voice chat. Looks like I have a, a single, I have four grenades, I have my bayonet. And then my bolt action rifle. So I believe that we're working on objective C at the moment. There are a lot of bullets. Ow. Bullets. Bullets hurt. Not your typical battlefield type experience, that's for sure. Um, so far, heavy learning curve, that's for sure. Uh, probably should have played the tutorials. Looks like we are supposed to fall back to regroup with our squad, wherever they are. Let me just throw a nade over there and see what happens. I picked up a bouncing Betty kill or something. There's an enemy guy right there. Not really sure if I hit him or not. Uh, I saw him for sure. I can peek my head out here. Oh, I knew that was a shot at him, but I guess I didn't hit him. Let's see if we can maybe change classes. So I press M to change class. Let's um, 
let's see how we can go with uh Oh yeah, let's let's see if we can get the support class. I can oh we have two of two already, okay. Uh, I guess we'll go with assault. Let's go with assault. Something that may be a little easier to play with an automatic weapon. And it looks like assault has quicker movement. Well suited to close combat. And I'm guessing that there are different kits. Yeah, there are different kits here. Uh, I'll take a look about look into them later. It's kind of neat. I can press X and it will show me where my teammates are. I don't know if that's going to show enemies as well. And I can watch the first person do... Wow, how did he see that guy? Maybe this will help me get a little better if I watch the first person view. Uh, just like in other World War One, World War Two style shooters that we've seen, like for Dawn and other games, there's definitely a lot of positioning involved in this game. Uh, it's not as much the the ability to run in and just spray bullets as it is having the right. Position and being able to get yourself to a spot that you can ooh, that looked like it hurt a lot <laughs> yourself to a spot with a good, a good vantage point and use terrain to your advantage so this guy has a radio and he was talking about bringing a radio in and I, I assume that means that that's where we're going to reach now oh, we lost <laughs> thanks for coming out today pubbers uh, this morning um, please add me to your friends list or go to the website if you want to put an application for the first ranger. Okay, so I guess we're in, in some kind of smaller or private servers. Oh, there was some, some lag there. So that was only about eight minutes of gameplay. Uh, I think we came in towards the end. Uh, some things I've noticed already, if it looks like this is attack and defend, we're on defense. Uh, we start with four points, point A, B, C, and D. Uh, we have 15, we presumably have 30 waves since the green shows 30 and they have 15, since the red shows 15. And there's a, a game timer there. Nine minutes and 32 seconds. I do see people calling enemy spots, so I'll see if I can do that. Or if that's something that only the only man can do in the We're gonna kinda hang out over here by this area. Uh, it does have toggle aim down sights. I'm gonna see if I can change that the next time I die, because I hate toggle aim down sights. Possibly more than life itself. Oh! That was. That was a rocket. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we just definitely took a rocket to the face. Alright, so let's go through our options here. And let's see if we can change ADS. In down sight. So now we should be... Nope. Alright, I didn't do it right. Well, the option is there, so I'll have to keep I'll have to figure out how to change that in the future. Because for sure I do not like having ADS on a toggle. Uh, I don't know why I don't like it, I just don't. Uh, I see that they are capturing A. So I'm gonna hope with hopefully with my team here rush towards point A. And we'll see if we can stop them from doing it. Uh, I think that was an enemy that I just stared at and got absolutely rocked in the face by. Um, no, it was a friend. I don't know what killed me then. I was coming in that door there, so I'm not sure what killed me. I think this game would be more fun if you had people with you. There is a, a co-op mode. Um, definitely going to check out the co-op mode after this. So I can rally a couple of friends. Okay, I somehow turned on my compass. Unsurprisingly, with the C key. Gonna try to use that faster motion that my class has to get. 
towards where I want to go, which is where? Let's see. Maybe point B over here. That looks like it's a killer. That's a teammate. All right, guys. All right. Well, I just got two K's. Oh, maybe not. No, nope, I got hit by the bar. I don't know. I, I'm having a lot of trouble distinguishing between allies and enemies, which is not something that is abnormal when uh, the same thing. When I play on um, Battlefield 1's hardcore mode, I often have trouble distinguishing between enemy and ally. Um, just various different shades of gray. Let's see if any of the other classes are available. Um, we have Engineer, Machine Gunner, and Sniper open. Uh, we do have all the, ri all the uh, riflemen that we need. I'm gonna stay away from from that officer. Uh, we have three of the three communications. Let's try uh, engineer with faster reloading. I don't know. I mean, it's another engineer appears to have another. Weapon. Well, that guy got rocked. Um, this is another. Basically, it's a it's a pistol with a stock on it. It's very much a, <laughs> a very slow weapon. Uh, so I have a, that's like a bouncing Betty type of area denial mine. Oh, it's automatic pistol. Oh, that's cool. Very nice, very authentic. So a teammate. Close. I can hear the bullets falling, but I don't know where they're falling from, where they're coming from. There are definitely no obvious bullet trails in this game, so it's a little bit harder to know where the rounds are coming from. And I got hit in the head with a Springfield. And that, uh, clipped by a sniper there. <laughs> definitely not, um, not as good at this game as I wish I was. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, you don't have to be good at something necessarily to, uh, to win it. To, to play it, you know, to enjoy it. Um, so far, graphics-wise, definitely kind of looking at mid-range graphics. Uh, I do believe I am on the highest graphics settings, but I am going to double-check. Yeah, I'm on, everything's on high, 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 very high, high, high. It's all set to max, basically. Uh, and, you, I mean, you can see the textures-wise, it's a little, it's a little lacking. But I mean, it's a shooting game, you know. It's not meant. It's not Battlefield. Let's see if I can, I can lay down here and not die terribly. I, I am a little frustrated by the fact it keeps asking me to fall back with my squad, and it doesn't tell me where my squad is, and then I just get picked off by somebody with a a wrong range rifle. Directional sound works, because I heard that off to my right, so... Definitely a lot of waiting... Uh, ...involved. I wish I was on the attacking side, so I could at least try to do something. Uh, being on the defending side, often, it feels like... ...a little boring here. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm dealing with a little bit of... ...kind of boredom... Or ...tedium here, you know, find the spot... Hide in the spot. Look for the enemies. So there's no indication of whether that's friendly or enemy artillery that's being called in. I hope it's friendly artillery. Uh, whatever it is, I guess I'm a little close to it. There's an enemy way over there, I saw him. There's another one, yeah, over there in a hide and a bond and a blind over there. Interesting. 
interesting. No automatic reload. Requires me to reload manually. I assume that since we have a very short barreled automatic weapon here that our accuracy is going to be shit. But I don't have a, um, a reticle to know, really, or any hit markers or anything. I did kill that guy, though. I guess I should have uh, primed it or something because he threw it right back at me and I died. I was pretty much stuck there though. There wasn't really anything I could have done in that case to, to get out of there. I do think that's my first kill actually. I uh, know I have two kills, one assist, and eight deaths. Not exactly the best score I've ever had in a game. Oh, it looks like we can also see a map in the center here. Uh, where we can see what is going on in terms of them pushing uh, roughly drawn map So they have all but point C uh, which we need to go and defend now So I will sprint to point C and probably die horribly As I, I do recall explicitly seeing a lot of their forces heading this way I mean that was what I happened upon in that accidental flank which I wish I could say I did on purpose But it was completely accidental Looks like we had our flamethrower guy down here, at least for a little bit. Try to hide behind this box. There's grenades in here. Well, I got a few shots off on that guy, but... And they also captured the area, so I think we're down to just our spawn point now. Yes, we are. Uh, it does not seem likely that we'll be able to defend our spawn point for 23 minutes. <laughs> I will do my best. I already got clipped by a sniper. That's great. Nothing like spawning and clipped by a sniper. Ow, ow, that hurts. Did you just not do that? We're going to hide in these bushes. Not getting shot in the face. Oh, he was literally right there. And it looks like we still lost. Alright, let's uh, let's right see what cooperative we'll looks job. like. Let's go ahead and go back to the server browser. Uh, actually, let's just, let's just quit out like this. So that was the, the PvP, the player versus player there. Um, I think that's going to be it for this player versus player segment. I'm going to do another on PvE, and then it'll be a full video as well, a uh, full uh, review style um, video as well coming. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. I think it will take some time to get into this game. It's definitely a bit, uh, a bit of a heavy learning curve, but I think if you can get over the learning curve, maybe find some people to play with and communicate with your, your unit really well, then it's be a fun game.